Hello everyone, how are you? Here they go. What happened on LA Bree Season 2, Episode 10? Very good episode. A lot happened. More questions. I have some answers were given. Um, the show opens up with Gavin, Sam, Rod, and a couple other survivors that are out scavenging for supplies. Also keep a lookout for Exarch. That savage tribe of people. They are reunited with Levi. He shows up all of a sudden. He's got gray hair mixed in with his beard and all that. He looks completely different. He's got handguns. He's got an ammo backpack. And they're like, how the hell did you get back? Because you were stuck in, you left, you decided to stay in 1988. Levi said, down here has only been a couple weeks. Up there has been 10 years already. That's the time difference between 10,000 BC, being stuck in the sinkhole and up above in 2023 timeline. He said, I found love with someone. We got married. I was able to convince a group of people that the sinkholes are caused by this machine that scientists built in 10,000 BC. People are stuck in the sinkholes. They need to be rescued because I remember back in season one when this all happened in Los Angeles, it was 2023, not 1988. So like, he's been 10 years since 1988 explaining this to people. So him and his wife founded this group. Try to rescue them. Something happened. He he doesn't say specifically what happened. All he said was they were attacked. Everybody died except for him. So he decided to jump in a sinkhole to get back here. Because he said, I'm here to rescue everybody. So they decide to go back to camp. So he could be reunited with the other survivors. And Gavin's kind of skeptical. Like, great. I just got Eve back. I'm trying to save her because she's supposed to die underneath this red tree vision. He still has. Now Levi's back around the lover, and Levi tells Gavin, like, hey, like I said, I found love with someone 10 years ago. We got married. I don't want Eve. As they're going back to camp, it goes, it shows the camp. It shows Lucas, Veronica, Lily, Scott, Eve, Josh, Riley, um, Lily, they're just, you know, they're just hanging out. Izzy, I mean, sorry, Izzy. They're just hanging out. Chilling, relaxing. Virgil decides to take over watch duty on the lookout post for Scott. And as Scott leaves, he ties a red bandana on a wooden staff spear they have made. Then he jumps off the lookout post. And all of a sudden, the exiles attack the camp. They beat people up. They slam people into cars. One guy tackled one of the... Exile was like football star tackle. He must be like a football player. Just the way he tackled that guy to the ground. And just started pounding away on him. Then it was like four on top of him. And that guy was beaten up. They put everybody in a line. Except Lucas. He went after Virgil. Because he saw Lucas saw Virgil tie that red bandana on the staff. And then the Exiles attack. So he knew right then and there. That son of a bugger did kill Wyatt. He lied to me. And he's with the Exiles. He tackles Virgil. They have a big brawl. And then Virgil tells him I had no choice. I had to do it. And Lucas just starts wailing away at him. Just punching him. And then Virgil stops fighting back. So Lucas like, come on, fight. You're with the Exiles. Virgil's like, I'm not. I'm being forced to do this. And then it shows the leader of the Exiles starts asking about this book. He says, it's important that I find this book. And we're going to kill, start killing people if we don't find it. Um, Scott is the first one he's going to kill if they don't find the book. They ravage through the camp. They tear stuff apart. There's no book. He goes to kill Lucas by you know, slashing his throat with a machete. When Veronica says, hey, what if this special book you're looking for was with a survivor that died? Because people have died and we buried them out east a couple miles away. So the leader of the exiles tells some of his crew, go with Veronica, Louie, and Lucas. Dig up these bodies. See if that book's there. They leave. As they leave, um, Izzy decides to send an SOS code out there in the woods. Because she knows Gavin, Sam, and Riley are out there. The exiles don't know everybody's... They think everybody's at camp. They don't know there's people out about doing a uh, supply run. Looking for food and stuff. So she sends an SOS single news and like a piece of glass. And reflecting off like a rock and stuff. With the light. 
and Gavin sees the USOS signal. He figures it out, Morse code, and the rest of the group realize it says Exiles, attack camp, looking for a book, group went east. So Gavin figures out they went east with the dead bodies. So they attack those Exile guys. They beat them up, they kill them. Evi shoots one of them dead with a handgun. Gavin stabs the other one to death with a knife. Um, Sam kills the other one. And they start, before they killed them, they found the book. It was buried with Veronica and Lily's supposedly father, which you find out later on was the guy that kidnapped them when they were kids. So I was like, how the hell did he end up with a book that was in 10,000 BC that went up in 2023 is now back again? Was he a, like a member of the Exiles and somehow escaped like through that portal or something? Like that book, there has to be a reason why their kidnapper, aka father, I'm gonna call him, had that book on him. There has to be an explanation. That's our question. Um, they go back to camp. Veronica says, here's your book. She leaves it, hands it over to the leader of the Exiles. And suddenly, bam! Gavin, Sam, Riley, Levi, and a couple of others attack the rest of the Exiles. They win the fight. They save everybody. The leader of the Exiles takes off with the book into the woods. Scott goes after him with a knife and a flathead and screwdriver. And Gavin chases off with them. Well, Scott, pissed off that this guy was going to kill him, stabs the leader of the Exiles, folks, with the knife and the screwdriver repeatedly into the guts. Before the leader of the Exiles dies, which actually, I don't know if he dies or not, because, well, I think he's going to die. There's a lot of blood. Um, he says, the book, I was told to get the book from Kira. And I'm like, who the hell is Kira? And Gavin's like, Kara, right? And then uh, he opens the book. And it's the rest of the research that that scientist last week they were looking for. They found his skeleton and by his look uh, by edge of a cliff. And then they found his cave where Gavin's mother took the research notes about Gavin knowing on how to fix the machine to stop the sinkholes from happening whenever they use the portal to travel back and forth in time. Um, the bad guys do. Well, this is the rest of the research. So I'm still wondering, how the hell did that guy get that research? He had to been down there. Like when the first, the, the other project first started, he had to be in one of the people working there and stole that stuff and took off, is what I think. So, then it shows Virgil is realigned with his wife. That's why he was doing this. You find out before Gavin and Sam Arali attacked the people that was with Lucas Rock and them. He, they attacked some other exiles and there was a warden held hostage. It was Virgil's wife. That explains why he killed Wyatt. Why he helped the exiles attack the camp. And stuff. Gavin and Sam forgive him for what he did. But Lucas isn't so forgivable. Um, and Levi as well, even though he just got there. So there's tension, like, what's going to happen to Virgil? Is he going to be executed? Is he going to be banished from camp, him and his wife? Is he going to be allowed to stay there still or something? That's a question that will be answered hopefully next week. The show ends with Ty walking out of the Lazarus Tower. He's cured. They cured his cancer, folks. Ty's 100% helpful again. Uh, James and second-in-command... Tell him you're free to go. But James tells him, you owe me a favor. And when the time comes, I'm going to ask you to do something. You must do it. No hesitation. As he leaves to go back in the tower, the second in command tells Ty, tell Gavin what you and James talked about. And my name is Kara. I'm like, holy shit. That's Kara. His second in command, James. So for some reason... She wanted those exiles to find that book. She, I think you find out she wants to fix the machine and James doesn't. Next week's episode, folks, is a two-hour event. There's a wedding. Ty asks Pablo to marry him, the uh, leader of the other tribe. Um, then all of a sudden, as the marriage is happening, the wedding, James and his group of soldiers attack the wedding and start killing people. I can't wait for next week's two-hour for net two-hour episode. Is this when James go ask Ty to kill someone? Because whatever he asks Ty to do, it's got to be huge. Is Ty going to go through with it? Is he going to back out on it? That's what I'm interested in finding out. 
There you have it, folks. I hope you liked this episode as much as I did. Let me know in the comment section below what you think James is going to ask Ty to do as the favor of return of curing his cancer that was uncurable in 2023. Stay safe, everybody. Too sweet. Bye.